In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, we are continuing our little uh, discussion of uh, the first mystery of the Holy Rosary, which is the Annunciation. Uh, see, the first mystery is the Annunciation. One Father, ten Hail Marys, glory be to the Lord. And we think of what the Annunciation means. Now, a long time ago, the Gospel was announced to Ireland. We are told by some people that Patrick went over there and he chased out all the snakes and uh, whatever it was, <laughs> Patrick had something to do with it. He had the, you know, the, the three leaves. Anyway, anyway, Patrick did a good job. And all the Catholic, all used to be, all the Irish people used to be Catholics. Now, because of bad priests like me and other people, they say, no, 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 we don't want to be Catholics. We want to be Buddhists. We want to be free thinkers because all the priests are bad people. Well, if you think all the priests are, there's the best of luck. But what about you? What are you? Are you such a holy guy? Or you say, all the priests are bad people. Okay, but what about all you? Oh, we are so holy. No, no, no. Only the priests are bad. We are holy. Okay, the fun. But anyway, this is a bit of history. This is Ireland. Now, this is, this is Celt. This is uh, Gaelic. I, I only know one word of Gaelic, and that's my name, Alan, which is a Gaelic name. I don't know any. But anyway, they used to speak... Uh, they, 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 they used to... A lot of people speak Gaelic. Okay, and now let's just have a look at what they presented, okay? This is a, a, a depiction of what is known as Nock. I lived, I lived in, I lived in our funeral and we have here, we have here, whatever. When Southern Ireland became independent, they were tickled pink. <laughs> they said, English people, get out of here. Uh, we want our freedom. Our Lady appeared, she appeared, and she gave them a picture on the church. The Mass, the Lamb of God. The priest, this is St. John. Our Lady Joseph. So she appeared at this at Nock. If you go to Ireland at Nock, you will see this on the, on, on, uh, the, any, the, the same idea. Jesus, uh, Our Lady appeared, said to them, the center of the Irish life is the Mass. Our Lady, the priest. So it's up to you. You can ditch the whole lot, but the best of luck. If you ditch the whole lot, Ireland will be just a pretty miserable place, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, best of luck, Irish people. Have a good time. Uh, we're now going to another country, go Scotland. They have their troubles too. Okay. Here we are in Scotland. Well, I believe there are a few Catholics left in Scotland, in spite of the Orangemen, who want to kick them out. <laughs> There's supposed to be quite a lot of uh, anti catholic but anyway, I don't know. My, father, my, my mother's name is Bruce, B-R-U-C-E. And uh, uh, I actually, I remember when I was young, I had a pedigree. She used to put it on the floor, and she said, look, you see, look, Scott. Now, just by the way, the Scotty, how did the Scottish people, they originally, all the Scottish people were Catholics. You know, <laughs> all of them were supported the Celtic against the Rangers. And they were the Scotty. We all know the story. They came, they came to Scotland, uh, invaded Scotland, and uh, they all became, all the Picts were sort of subdued, and uh, the Irish Catholic, the, the Scotty, because Scotty is an Irish tribe. So as now we all know, that's called the Scotland. So actually Scotland, the name Scotland, used to be the name of Ireland, okay? So if you, say, if you went to that area before, you said Scotland, they take you to Ireland. Now it's become Scotland, uh, Scotland has become Scotland because the Scotty, the Irish tribe, invaded uh, the thing. Okay, now what do we have here, you see? Robert the Bruce. I, my mother is, uh, but we won't call her, but anyway, but anyway, Robert the Bruce, well, I think we've all heard about Robert the Bruce, and here we have the, 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 the uh, on the Union Jack at the moment, anyway, well, it's the, the St. Andrew, because he was crucified on, a, on this shape of cross, and then we have this other guy called Dun Scotus, you see, look, Dun Scotus, now, Dun Scotus, you see this guy, Dun Scotus, who is Dun Scotus? Well, just a, he was the one, he, we all know the Catholic Church has uh, uh, got to owe a lot to St. Thomas. But the Scotists, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, they were, they were not exactly anti the Thomas, but they accentuated the will. So in other words, Thomas was for the intelligence, Scotus was for the will. Now the end product, this man, he was a good holy man, but he was a bit, you know, wonky. Uh, anyway, he, he, he accentuated the will. Now if you accentuate in God the will, what happens is, 
you gradually become to, you become to voluntarism. And voluntarism means what? Originally, Thomas said, God was intellect, he had a choice. But the, if you ag 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 accentuate the will, you become to voluntarism. So in other words, he said that this is good or bad because God wills it. It's nothing to do with the intelligence, whether it's right or wrong. He said, God's will is it. Now, that leads us to Luther. Luther more or less said, he more or less said, we don't, we don't worry about philosophy. Uh, God wills is right or God wills is wrong. So that's the, you can say he led, one of the, one of the reasons for the Protestant uh, Reformation was Scott, because he accentuated the will. And the end product is me, modern man, says, I want to do this, my will, and so I don't care what the church says, I don't care what anybody says, I want to do this, will, 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 will. So the only answer is, do God's will, then we'll be okay. Where are we now? We are now B1. Basement, the Church of, the, uh, the church of Nazareth, uh, the, the Church of the Annunciation, and on this spot, on this spot, what happened? On this spot, what it? you say, look, this is it. We'll see what happens. Look. See? Something, something miraculous happened. We'll see it, you see? This is the greatest mystery in the history of the world. Verbum caro factum est. Okay. This is the, you see, verbum caro factum est. That means the word was made factum Factum is like fact, verb of verb, car of flesh. Here, hic, this, this is hic. The word was made flesh here. Okay, now, we, we're just, just by the way, this isn't something, you know, for interest to antiquarians or anthropologists. This is today, in every church, Catholic church in the world, the word becomes flesh. Because what does the, 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 the priest do? The priest plays to the Holy Spirit, come down on this bread and wine. And what happens is the word, the, 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 the word of God comes down and becomes flesh. So there was a, there was a one, one of the saints, he says, Our Lady, you conceived and brought forth Jesus once. Every day, we Catholics and the priests conceive and bring forth Jesus every day at Mass. That is why Mass is so important, because every day Jesus is the, is the incarnation. Every day, just as before, in the body and the body and blood of Jesus of Mary became the body and come together, blood and blood of Jesus. But today, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus every day. So. Every day we are continuing the, ink, the word, every day it is, is my, what, is, what is my job today? I have to bring the word of God in to become today in Taipei or London or Amsterdam or whatever it is, it is my job to make the word of God flesh today. In other words, I have to live Christ's life. Christ's life. Verbum, the word, factum est, became flesh carol here. So every day my job in life, it's not just for priests, it's your job, my job, all of our job, we have to make the word living today. So that is why I am, I'm, we're doing this program in Veritas, the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. So this, 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 um, this establishment called Veritas is in Taipei. Their job is to tell the world that the word becomes flesh in Taipei, and the world becomes flesh in you, and we, be and we share the flesh of Christ. We share the body of Christ. So Jesus Christ's Paschal mystery becomes my Paschal mystery, my Paschal. So my life, I, I share God's life. So I become a superman. You become a superman. There's no other way. The only way to make heaven, earth, is with Mary to give birth to Jesus in our lives today. So we have the, uh, the verbum caro, that is where, verbum caro, hic, here, 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 Taipei, London, my office, Mayfair, or whatever it happens to be, you see, I have to make the word living today. That is our job. We have to make the word flesh today. We have to make, 
uh, make make our lives here. Verbum caro factum est. Okay, today, and this 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 you see now what is happening here? This is mass in the Church of the Annunciation in the north of Israel, and this is the Word of God becoming flesh. You see, look, you see what what what's happening here? That priest, he's an Arab. All these people are Arabs. Not all Arabs are Muslims, you know. All of them used to be Catholics, you know. Because before, uh, you know, before all, the, all those places, Iraq, uh, Israel, Turkey, they were all Catholics. And uh, the, the Muslims, I don't want to contribute the Muslims, but they more or less say the word became Koran. But we say the word became flesh. The Muslims say the word became Koran. That's why they respect, they say, this is, they say the Koran is how we treat the body of Christ, this is a, 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 a Bible, but it's, but it's just words, you know. But they believe the word became Koran, so this is a holy book. We believe it's a holy book, but anyway, we won't go into that, it's a bit uh, complicated. <laughs> Here, the priest has just said to this word, he said, he said, they call the Holy Spirit come down, and that becomes Jesus. So he is distributing Jesus. He, everybody comes up, and there, there, the old-fashioned, they, they, it's on their, on, their, on their tongue, they receive him. But you can receive it on your hand. Whatever way you receive it, we all receive Jesus Christ. And this is the basic message. How are we going to become, as we say, how can we, bow, the Word of God, how can it become flesh? You have this problem, I have this problem, and there's no other way of making unity in this world, whether it's the European Union, the Brexit problem, is that we have, a, okay, you see, look, yeah, you can see it says Ece Agnus Dei. You see, look, that's the one. Okay, so Our Lady. So we're, we're now thinking of a procession of Our Lady. Now, many of us are going to say, "Oh, the Our Lady! They're worshiping Our Lady." We've just stated we're not worshiping Our Lady. We're just she's the Mother of God. What's all the what's the fuss about? She's the first Christian. She shows us how to do it. You see these little altar boys. All these people are becoming. All these people here that we see here have just received the Word of God. They, in their, their flesh, in other words, the, the flesh of Jesus becomes our flesh. Paul said, I live, not I, Jesus Christ lives in me. John said, I have shown my name to them and will continue showing it so that the love of God for Jesus may live in them and I may live in them. So in other words, our whole life is Mass. Mass is God becoming man. This is the, you see the Japanese have the, the Japanese, the Americans, the, this is the Japanese, this is a, this is a Japanese lady, she became a Catholic, she became a Christian here, so I think that's an American. These people, I don't know what they are here. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, they all, they're all, all, all that, what, what they're doing is they're making, the, the job, our job today is to make God life our life. Our life became God's life. Heaven become earth, earth become heaven. The way to do it, this guy's drinking his soda water, but anyway, he's going to Mass and he's, uh, all these people here, they're, they're, what, what they're doing is they're making, they're making God into man, man into God, making Superman. So these people have a difficult job. This is, now what, what are they doing? They're, going, they're saying, Mary, you know, this isn't Sunday. This place, this, this, this little procession taking place here, it wasn't a Sunday, and this you have all these Arabs here singing the praises of Jesus and praise. They're all all these people are Arabs. They're not Muslims, yeah? and they all sing the praise of Mary. And the, so, in other words, what they're doing is they're incarnating Jesus Christ here, and they have a difficult job because uh, you know they, they they used to be all of these people used to be Catholics. Now at least half of them are Catholics, and they they are they're all they're all Arab. There's all this singing is in Arabic. They don't sing the Arabic, and uh, so uh, this is uh, this is the Arabic. So they're, now they're down. This is down in B1. Hick, 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 hick. Here, the Word of God became man. That is my job, your job. So Our Lady was the wh wh why why are, why have they got this picture of Our Lady? Because because Our Lady was the first person. She became a tabernacle. She became. Uh, uh, a living Ark of the Covenant, and we have to do the same. So we say, please, 
Our Lady and Jesus Christ make me into a tabernacle, make me into the temple, make me part of the mystical body of God. Mystical mystery. That is the, the basic mystery of life, how God can become man. Well, let's, let's have a go. Have a good time. God bless. Okay. Any, any hope?